yeah hi everyone uh, i just want to cover few uh, memory based or important stuff or i just want to make things simple and easy for you i mean the basic logic of mts conquer and as well as mine is i just want to cover as much as stuff as possible in a very limited duration of time so first of all there are many questions or confusing part related to the numericals of this okay that is about the cef one is uh, they are going to ask you about this uh, the distances x ray source uh, and the individual and the film okay they, they they generally ask that what is the distance between the x ray source uh, and the individual or they will ask a question what is the distance between the individual and the film while you are taking self so there are i mean multiple numericals I, i'll just give a hint of making it very simple the distance between the x-ray source and the person or the individual is 5 feet or they can give it as 16 inches as an option or they can give it as 152.4 centimeters very simple you can remember it as 5 and 6 here also 5 okay so it is 5 feet or 16 inches or 152.4 centimeters they can ask a distance between the person and the x-ray film the answer is 7 inches or 18 centimeters so simple 5 6 7 8 so it is 5 6 7 8 easy values okay so logically 5 feet 16 inches 7 inches 18 centimeters clear so this is one very important thing and they frequently ask questions related to this and you, you will find many questions related to this uh, particularly in your orthodontics as well as in the case of an, a uh, radiology okay please make a note uh, about this okay so coming to the next uh, very important thing i just want to cover and all of we know about this critical pH okay the pH below which the pH below which there will be dissolution of the dental heart tissues that is called as a critical pH <laughs> so normal critical pH for the enamel they will ask questions that is 5.2 to 5.5 okay so for the dentin the critical pH will raise a bit because dentin has less in organic content when compared with the enamel that is 6 and the critical pH of the cementum is 6.7 so these are the important values enamel it is 5.2 to 5.5 dentin it is 6 cementum it is 6.7 so whenever the enamel is treated with fluoride you know that enamel will have hydroxyapatite when it reacts with the fluoride it forms fluorohydroxyapatite the structure the structure of this hydroxyapatite when compared with the fluorohydroxyapatite fluorohydroxyapatite is larger in size and the critical ph of the fluorohydroxyapatite or the fluoride treated enamel is 4.2 it decreases means when whenever it crosses this value only then the fluorohydroxyapatite will start dissol dissolution okay so apart from this i want you guys to make a note about the ph of the stimulated saliva is ph of the stimulated saliva is 7.8 whereas ph of unstimulated saliva is 6.3 so please make a note enamel ph enamel critical ph is 5.2 to 5.5 enamel with fluoride treated critical ph is 4.2 to 4.5 dentin critical ph is 6 cementum critical ph is 6.7 ph of stimulated saliva 7.8 and pH of unstimulated saliva is 6.3 so these are the very important questions related to the pH of the dental heart tissues and the saliva please make a note okay so every day we are planning to keep such uh, simplified stuff uh, a correlation uh, sort of stuff to make the stuff to make the things very simple and easy okay uh, bye take care signing off Shrikanth